In today's video, we're going to be checking out GGOS. A lot of people commented to check out GGOS on my last video, which I did on Atlas OS. Now, GGOS is very similar to Atlas OS. It's a stripped down version of Windows 10, really well optimized, and it's very good for gaming. So in this video, we're going to be downloading it, checking it out and running it on my eBay PC and seeing what kind of performance we get, seeing what kind of background processes we get and seeing if it will give me good FPS. As always, guys, make sure to go ahead and join my Discord. The link will be on screen and in the description down below. And also follow me on Twitter as well, at NotreDameYT. If you're new around here, make sure to leave a like on this video. Subscribe if you're new. And yeah, without further ado, let's get into the video. All right, guys, so to install GGOS, we need to go to their Discord. I'll leave the link to their Discord in the description down below. Then head over to the download section here. And here are the download links. So we can get standard edition, which is for the best performance. We can get a face it version and uh, that's about it. You will need to buy a Windows 10 Pro key, which you can do here or just from wherever. So yeah, I'm gonna go ahead and grab the standard edition. It's 1.36 gigabytes. You can get it on Mediafire, Google Drive and Mega. I'm gonna go for the Mediafire version. So I just click on that, it takes you to the Mediafire download page. And yeah, just press download and I'll be back once it's finished. All right, guys, so I've just downloaded the ISO and dragged it to my desktop. Now, as always, we need Rufus to burn this ISO to a blank USB. So yeah, I'll leave the link to Rufus in the description. So yeah, it should recognize your USB here. Same one I used for my Atlas OS video. Now, make sure you back up whatever's on your USB drive because it's going to be completely erased for this process. So now, once it's selected, just go ahead and select the ISO you just downloaded select that here i'm going to leave all these settings on default and yeah just press start press ok leave it to do its thing and yeah i'll be back once we've got a ggos usb all right now our usb is saying ready so just go ahead and close rufus and we should now have a ggos usb as you can see right here so now what i'm going to do is i'm going to unplug the usb and yeah i'm going to get switched over to my ebay pc and we're going to install ggos all right guys so i just turned on my computer and i pressed the f2 key to get to the bios now i'm going to go to the boot menu which i could have just pressed f8 but here we go and we're going to select the uefi sand disk and press enter and this should now boot off our ggos usb and here we go so yeah just accept the license agreement and i'm going to go ahead and delete some partitions on my drive here now do bear in mind if you are going to do this you will have to wipe your entire hard drive to reinstall this os i'm not sure if there's an option where you can install both on the same drive maybe if you partition the drive and then installed it on there you could do that but yeah i'm just going to remove whatever was on this computer and we're just going to completely wipe the drive here probably not recommended doing it this way but yeah just for the sake of time there we go then just press next all right so we'll leave that to do its thing and uh, i'll be back when we're on the setup screen all right and here we are on the setup screen so that was a really quick installation but yeah let's go through and set this up so united kingdom and then select a keyboard layout and wow that was actually really good there so there was no kind of yes or no do you want to enable this do you want to enable that it's a pretty simple install you just select your language your keyboard and then just type in your username and password if you want one. Wow, that was really quick. It's a lot like Atlas OS. Everything's just kind of been stripped out of the OS and that's it. Wow, if only normal Windows could be this quick. All right, so we're here and now we're not. <laughs> so I got a glimpse of my desktop there. It looks very plain, but it says that it just needs to restart. And uh, yeah, we can explore this OS further. And yeah, here it is. So yeah, very, very minimal very basic. I wonder if we've got Windows Update with this. I don't think we will. Yeah, they've removed Windows Update, so we're going to have to get all our drivers manually, which is kind of annoying. It's a lot like Atlas OS, and I guess they do have to remove Windows Update in order to uh, stop background processes and stuff like that. So yeah, I'm going to go ahead and eject my GGOS USB. Don't need that anymore. And yeah, so we've got a couple of things on our desktop here. Oh wow, the animations have been disabled. So if I just uh, go here. So this, this works, but the selection's not blue okay that's weird all right so let's go to our setup folder here and yeah we've got all the nice links here so we can install 
the web browser here, Chrome, Firefox, Brave, which we won't be able to use because we don't have an internet connection. So we should probably get the drivers for that first. But yeah, we've got GPU drivers as well here. So since I've got an Intel GPU in this computer, in fact, I'll go ahead and I'll show you the specs of this computer. So these are the specs we're running with. We've got an i5-4460, 8 gig of RAM, and obviously integrated graphics. I would install this on my low-end laptop that I've been doing a couple of videos on recently, but it's not the recommended specs. If you want to see a video of me trying this on the laptop, I'm not really too sure if it's going to make a difference, but yeah. So yeah, let's go ahead and get Intel GPU drivers. Seems that's only for laptops. And this OS comes with Snappy Driver Installer. Now this is a really good piece of software. It basically just scans for drivers and uh, yeah, it's a really cool little thing. So if we just go here, go for check all. Snappy Driver's not going to work because we don't have an internet connection. Right, okay. We can't get internet on this thing. Oh, never mind. Okay, we've got Wi-Fi. Okay, that's cool. All right, so I lied. We do have Wi-Fi, so that's really good. So let's go ahead and install a web browser. All right, now to install drivers, you can use the Snappy Driver Installer, but I'm just going to go ahead and I'm just going to search my CPU. So I can install stuff like chipset drivers, and I'm sure it will come with the integrated graphics drivers as well. All right, perfect. Intel graphics driver here. So if we take a look around GGOS while we wait for our drivers to install, if we look at the start menu here, there's pretty much nothing. We've got Windows accessories, got administrative tools, quite a lot in here actually, so that's quite cool. And we've got a really cool Windows optimization section. So this has some pre-installed software like memory cleaner, auto runs, NV clean install. Yeah, this is really cool. And then we just got the generic Windows system stuff. All right, so I'm just going ahead and grabbing my Intel graphics driver here. I've been a bit lazy and I've installed their driver support assistant. That's basically just scan my system, giving me all the stuff here and is finding the best drivers for me. I'm going to uninstall it straight after before you go rush into the comments. And then that's pretty much everything. I've checked my device manager and there isn't a lot of things that need drivers really. It's all pretty good out of the box really, which is quite impressive. So in the setup here, we've installed a browser, we've installed GPU drivers. We can get additional drivers with Snappy Driver Installer. We can also install the Microsoft or store xbox or game bar which might be good if you want to play minecraft bedrock edition we've also got a support folder here we've got full screen exclusive i guess this is for xbox game bar we can enable and disable notifications i'm going to disable them they're really annoying we've got some optional tweaks as well which i'll go into in a minute user account control as well and then we've got a vpn which you can enable and disable from here. And then we've got Wi-Fi as well here. So if we go into optional tweaks, we've got boot configuration. We've got some GPU stuff. Just a lot of registry files here that you can go into and enable and disable. If we go and have a look at our task manager here, it's pretty minimal. Our CPU is barely doing anything and our memory not too much either. It's not a lot going on really. There's just the start menu, search, my graphics driver and some other stuff that I always see kind of just needs to be there. Startup, there's nothing. App history, performance. Yeah, it's been really good actually right now. Let's go ahead and install Minecraft and see what kind of performance we get. All right, so I've just installed Minecraft here. And what we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and try 1.8.9 installation. A lot of people always ask me why 1.8.9. And it's the version that I normally play for Hypixel and PvP. If you want to see me do more latest version stuff, definitely let me know in the comments down below. It'd be interesting to see what kind of version you guys are playing out there. All right, so I've just opened up Minecraft here. Straight away, we're going to go to our video settings, turn off VSync, put max frame rate up, and put our render distance to about eight. So these are the settings that I'd normally play on my gaming PC. So it'd be interesting to see what this is like my eBay PC. So yeah, let's go ahead and have a look. Okay, we're loading in here. All right, it's actually quite smooth. Let's see what FPS we're getting. Oh, we're getting a pretty, pretty respectable 60 FPS here. Yeah, this is the FPS we're rocking with here on 1.8.9 vanilla which is pretty good going actually but yeah i've done all the upgrades and done a series of videos on this which you can check out i'll leave the playlist linked in the description but yeah 70 fps is not too bad really and we haven't got optifine or anything installed just yet so let's go ahead and throw some settings down put graphics on fast smooth lighting off turn off bobbing as well let's we'll put the gui scale down a bit see what fps we're getting now we're getting about 90. i reckon we would have got about 100 so uh yeah i mean it's it's playable it's it's good it's all right got about 100 there that was pretty good so yeah let's go ahead and get optifine and then see what kind of fps we get go to our single player world again and yeah before we do anything let's uh 
get changing some settings. So pretty much all we've got here, turn off smooth lighting. That's all pretty good. Definitely turn off fog and clouds as well. No one likes clouds. So yeah, I'm just going ahead and just turning off all these settings, just trying to get the most performance we can get out of this computer as possible. All right, let's look at our FPS now. And we're getting about 150, which is pretty good. Could probably get even more if we had Lunar Client installed. But yeah, for integrated graphics on a fourth gen Intel i5, it's really playable actually. And uh, the render distance isn't too bad, actually. I could probably play on this quite happily. If we go into our task manager here while we're playing the game, as you can see, obviously Minecraft's taken up most of our resources here, but everything else is on 0% in the background. And there isn't that many Windows processes or background processes, really. So it's quite a well-optimized operating system. Pretty impressive, I must say. But yeah, like I said, if you want me to install this on my low-end laptop, definitely let me know in the comments down below. And uh, we'll see if we can make it work, even though the specs of that laptop are nowhere near the recommended for GGOS. All right, so if we compare the FPS with what we were getting before, this is one of my old videos. I'll leave the link to this in the description down below. And bear in mind, I'm using my client as well. We're only getting about 73 FPS, which is pretty disappointing, honestly. So I believe we're on standard Windows 10 right now. I don't think we messed around with any custom OSs back then. I think we have got fancy graphics on at this point, and it's all right, but it's not the best. All right, so now I'm on Hypixel Duals, and we're on standard Windows 10 OS. We've turned down some settings at this point and we're getting about 150 FPS in a Hypixel Dual here. It's pretty good, but yeah, it'd be interesting to see how this compares to GGOS. We're actually using Lunar Client right now. Lunar Client is probably going to make a big difference when it comes to FPS. So I'd be interested when we install Lunar Client on GGOS. So yeah, this is just footage that I'm just commentating over right now. I'm not actually live commentating. But yeah, let's go ahead, install Lunar Client and see what FPS we get now on Hypixel Duals using GGOS. All right, so I've just downloaded and installed Lunar Client and we're using it now on the PC. So we're in the Duals lobby here and our FPS is really good. Now, as you know, the Duals lobby is a notorious PC killer all the NPCs and entities and flying particles and everything. So yeah, the eBay PC is actually storming through this. This is really good already. 200 FPS in the lobby. That's really cool. So yeah, let's hop into a duel and see what kind of FPS we can get now. Oh my God, 500 FPS. If you guys saw before, I was getting about maybe about 200 highest when I was doing Hypixel duels on regular Windows. Could be down to the fact that I've now got much better video settings thanks to all you guys out there in the comments and we're on eight render distance as well we haven't even turned that down and yeah it's really good so the eagle-eyed among you may have noticed that i've changed my name i've now got a name Luxy. i don't know i just saw it on name mc thought it looked pretty cool so i managed to snipe it and yeah this is on my lolfin account by the way the uh, minecon cape account so it's a pretty clean account now i've got the minecon cape i've got a pretty clean name so, uh, yeah, I'm quite happy with that. Let's get this guy. This guy's giving me a bit of the rod spam earlier. Oh, my aim. Just went completely off then. But, yeah, no, our FPS is insane in Hypixel Duels. I'm pretty sure we played this exact same map in the clip before from one of my old videos. So, yeah, I've done wonders with this computer. It's really good. We're really good right now. We're destroying on the eBay PC. Let's go ahead and throw our graphics up a little bit. Let's go, oh no, fancy graphics, smooth lighting on, 8 render distance. This all seems pretty reasonable. This is, you know, it looks quite good now. We've got the smooth lighting and everything. And still, our FPS is really good in the lobby. That is really impressive. Let's go and do some classic duels again. And yeah, wow, still 500. That is insane. Obviously, because using Lunar Clump, we've got lazy chunk loading. So all of the big structures and stuff in here are not loaded because we don't really need them. So it's quite cool and it definitely helps boost FPS a lot. So yeah, this is really playable. I'm really happy with what we've been able to do. Like I said, GGOS definitely helps. It's definitely a really well optimized version of Windows, which I'd highly recommend you guys check out. Let's do a quick little task manager check here. Just go ahead and have a look here. So yeah, we've got Firefox open, which I should really close actually. But I mean, our FPS is still really good, so that's good. So yeah, we've obviously got Lunar Client here, task manager pretty much nothing going on in the background or being used. Yeah, really good. Really happy with this. And uh, yeah, 
that's going to be the video, guys. I hope you guys all enjoyed this video. Let me know if you want to see more videos on custom Windows OSs, and I'll definitely do them. Thank you guys all for watching, and uh, yeah, I will see you in my next video. Peace.